Mendeleev's periodic table gradually became accepted by scientists. With a few adjustments as new discoveries were made, it led directly to the modern periodic table. This is now so familiar that you can see it on t-shirts and mugs. You can even sit down for a meal at one, as shown in this picture. For many years, an element's atomic number was just its position on the periodic table. Then, in 1913, scientists worked out that an element's atomic number was the number of protons in its atoms. The total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom is called its mass number. In full chemical symbols, like AL2713, the top number is the mass number and the bottom one is the atomic number. This information can be used to calculate the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in an atom. For example, in aluminium there are 13 protons because the atomic number is 13. 27 minus 13 equals 14 neutrons, the mass number minus the atomic number, and 13 electrons, the same as the number of protons. The mass of an atom is incredibly small, so we use relative atomic mass instead of its actual mass in kilograms. The symbol for relative atomic mass is capital A small r. Carbon is used as the standard atom. A carbon-12 atom contains six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Its relative atomic mass is defined as exactly 12. The masses of all other atoms are compared to this. For example, the mass of a helium-4 atom is one-third that of a carbon-12 atom, so its relative atomic mass is 4. In the pictured example, the mass of a magnesium atom is exactly twice that of a carbon atom, so the magnesium atom has an atomic mass, a relative atomic mass, of 24. The elements in the modern periodic table are arranged in order of increasing atomic number rather than in order of atomic mass as Mendeleev did. The horizontal rows are called periods. The vertical columns are called groups. Each group contains elements with similar properties. The main groups are numbered 1 to 7 from left to right. The group on the far right is called group 0. Isotopes are different atoms of an element with the same number of protons and electrons but different numbers of neutrons. For example, chlorine atoms always have 17 protons but some can have 18 neutrons and others can have 20 neutrons. These are different isotopes, chlorine-35 and chlorine-37. Most periodic tables have the mass number for chlorine as 35.5. The presence of isotopes means that some relative atomic masses are not whole numbers. For example, the relative abundance of chlorine-35 is 75% of all chlorine atoms, and the relative abundance of chlorine-37 is about 25% of all chlorine atoms. This is why the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5 rather than a whole number. 